Hey guys, what's happening? Niat here with Film Comics Explained, and today we'll be taking a look at the Basilisk that was featured in the Harry Potter books and Expanded Universe, created by J.K. Rowling. The Basilisk seen in the films was essentially a giant serpent that belonged to Salazar Slytherin, who was one of the four founders of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The Basilisk, along with its kin, were generally bred by dark wizards, with the first to achieve this feat being Herpo the Fowl, who was also the first wizard to successfully create a Horcrux, a skill that Voldemort would later acquire. Growing up to be approximately 60 to 80 feet in length, the enormous beast had a thick protective layer of scales and piercing yellow eyes that were imbued with dark magic, enabling it to kill its prey through direct eye contact. Even if they were fortunate enough to see it indirectly, they would still end up being petrified. And if that didn't do the trick, the basilisk also had razor sharp teeth that it would use to viciously rip its victims apart. The creation of the basilisk was actually one of the first examples of the dark arts that the Ministry of Magic would condemn, as it was considered extremely dangerous, inhumane, and illegal to breed them. Living to be hundreds of years old, the monsters were so inherently evil that they were feared by humans, spiders, and all creatures that knew what they were capable of, except for the mighty phoenix which was immune to its gaze. Spiders in particular saw them as their mortal enemy, and with their numerous eyes, they were obviously more susceptible to their attacks. But if you're not the monster, then, then what did kill that girl 30 years ago? We do not speak of it. It is an ancient creature we spiders. Fear above all others. As a purist, Salazar wanted the school to be more selective, and he passionately despised all muggle-born and mixed bloodlines that managed to gain entry into Hogwarts. Fueled by his hatred, Salazar went on to create the Chamber of Secrets before breeding a basilisk with the intent of purging the undesirable students. Living undisturbed in the Chamber of Secrets for over a century, the Basilisk was released by Ginny Weasley, who opened the chamber under the control of Tom Riddle's soul, which had been contained in his diary as a Horcrux. After its escape, the beast managed to petrify several people, including Colin Creevy and Hermione Granger, who saw the beast through indirect eye contact. It's also revealed that Myrtle Warren, a muggle-born student who had been sorted into Ravenclaw in the mid-40s, was the first student to directly look into its eyes, leading to her death. It was dreadful. It happened right here in this very cubicle. I was crying, and then I heard somebody come in. Who was it, Myrtle? I don't know. I was distraught. I just remember seeing a pair of great big yellow eyes over there by the sink. I also thought it was interesting that the basilisk had fangs that contained an extremely venomous poison that only had one known cure, Phoenix Tears. The venom could also damage inanimate objects to the point that they were impossible to restore, and thus was one of the few substances powerful enough to destroy a horcrux. series, the Basilisk was designed by Robert Bliss, who used a real-life 9-foot-long Burmese python as a reference to build the general shape. Initial iterations maintained a relatively simple snake-like appearance, but as the design process progressed, the concepts began implementing subtle characteristics of other reptiles, such as monitor lizards and crocodiles, resulting in the Basilisk taking on a more dragon-like appearance. The creature's skin was then endowed with osteoderms and hard scales, before the basilisk was given eyes with functional eyelids to differentiate them further as abominations compared to snakes. The main basilisk puppet was an animatronic, which had a fully operational head with a jaw opening mechanism, as well as moving eyelids, nostrils, and tongue. A digital version of the basilisk was then rendered on top of the practical effects, which truly brought the terrifying creature to life. Well, that's all for today, folks. Thanks to all of you guys who requested we take a look at the Basilisk, featured in the Harry Potter Expanded Universe. If there's any other stuff you'd like me to check out, please don't hesitate to ask. As always, it's been a pleasure. Niat here with Film Comics Explained. Thanks for stopping by. This is it. This is it, Ron. I think this is the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets.